previously on The Cut. The remaining 14 contestants had to transform a 45 square meter shell into a warm, vibrant home. The are half a meter While like Becky's year, team worked harmoniously together to create the perfect bachelor's pad, Michelle's team was at loggerheads. It's about design, it's about practicality, it's about creativity. But we're just saying, we're not, we're, 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 we're not saying we're going to use everything, we're looking at stuff we're going to need. But even amidst the chaos, Michelle's team managed to turn the apartment into a cozy love nest and the judges appreciated the detail and personalized touches. They were not as enthusiastic about Becky's team's efforts and felt that they didn't follow through with their concept. Can I say something? You yeah. completely, in terms of design, like you say, you've been con continuing with the square, but all of a sudden the shape there just completely it's lost right it. It's lost it. At Style Council, Michelle's team were crowned the winners, and Baker's team had to explain what went wrong. I was overpowered, you know? So, who are you overpowered? Oh, by? Yeah. by the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, it was Rian and Becky in the hotspot, but due to the lack of his creative input, it was Rian who did not make the cut. Welcome to FNB Stadium. And then they were 13. I'm sure I've got some soccer fans amongst us here. Michelle, what does FNB Stadium mean to you? And that's the first time I've been here, so I don't know what it means to me. I'm not really an African soccer supporter. <laughs> don't put that in, but yeah. <laughs> I'm more international, okay. 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 George, <laughs> what does this ground mean to you? It means passion, it means competition, <laughs> it means a whole lot of energy, and Pirates must just get beaten. FNB Stadium is the home of Safa. It is also the place where the first match for the World Cup in 2010 is going to take place. The final will also take place right here on this ground that you are standing on. Well, your task this week is to design the official Bafana Bafana supporter jersey that will be endorsed by Safa. All eyes will be on South Africa in 2010, so this task is very big. I thought soccer. <laughs> I thought soccer, and I was like, oh Lord, it's gonna be one of those soccer things. The first thing that came to my mind, whoever wins and whichever one, Gets endorsed. It's already a 2010 feature. And then people are wearing the t shirt. It's going to be like, yeah, yeah, no. It's a challenge. Let's do it. We've done a music video. We've painted a house. We've done a billboard. Oh, throw anything my way. Let's do it. Garth and Odysseus, because you two were chosen first in the last task, you are this week's team leaders. Garth, because your team won at the last style council, you get to pick first. Could the two of you please come and join me? I choose Zenith. When Garth picked Zenith first, it was, I was very, very surprised. So I was like, okay, 
Second mode, what do we do now? I have to get at least one of the creatives in my team. Michelle? I panicked and I went straight for Michelle. I didn't even cross my mind that I'm picking her for the se- like she's being picked for the second time, first time. So she stands again to be a team leader again. Mulebuen. Mapiwe. Becky. Vus. George. Kama. Andy. I don't see him as very strong as it. I mean, he's, he's worked hard, I mean, in our previous one, and his drawings were awesome. But in conceptually, he didn't really feature. Guys, one last thing. Your jerseys will be modeled at Style Council. And that is where I'm going to see you next, where the winning team will be excused, and one person from the losing team will not make the cut. Our task is to design and produce a supporters t-shirt. That is our main objective. We've got like a full working team behind us. We've got we've got a, a seamstress, we've got a fabric and garment consultant, we've got a pattern cutter, which is quite important. And yeah, and we've got like we've got a place to source fabrics. So we just have to think very, very hard about how to make this a brilliant design. I don't know you guys, but I think the thing that's going to be most important is research and stuff like that, because we must bring out those elements that we're going to show that this is a unique nation. This is, the, our, our football is unique from, from um, other African countries. Can I ask, is it possible for us to have like a line that like represents our spirit as a team? The way I guide this team is that, as far as ideas go, I won't rule out the ideas completely. I mean, I, I believe in you must always play around stuff. Don't go with just your first idea, because it's not your best idea always. What I think has never been done before yes. is, to, is to actually show what is most common to like um, South African football fans. Like even if we say, like, we can actually make it simple, visible on the, on the, on the thinking, like, but using like... Kind of. Some people don't like to wear round necks. Some people don't like to wear V-necks. Also, like, you should consider yeah. the structure of people's Body bodies. Body Yeah. Basically. Or what? Yeah. With especially, like, with the male bodies, like, emphasis is on the chest or whatever happens. It's like conflict like, with the unisex yeah. thing um, that we're trying um, to push. It's, 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 it, it is unisex, it is. But, but it's dominantly a male thing. Worse, it's nice when you're not working with them. Um, when you're working with him, he's not fun. <laughs> I'm a professional, I mean, I, 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 I don't stick to beef and feud and when I'm working. He sort of, he takes over, he also, he doesn't know how to visual, visualize things. It's like either black or white and that's it for him. I am not necessarily here to be liked or to like people, I'm here to work. That's going to be recognizable, that people are going to know from now because they're really... Yeah. So you need something that people are going to know about, that they're going to see. Like, like this year, this year could actually be like the panels on the t-shirt and this could be printed over the panels. People are starting to listen to her now because she's really come out of a shell, I think, as far as talking and stuff like that. I mean, I'm very... F- my very first assignment, she was so quiet and people would talk over and stuff like that. It could be, it could come from here, the panel could come down like this in green, and then you could have like a bus coming down like this in red, and then you could have this guy, this bicycle guy, splintered onto that. I mean, she's learned how to cope with these people now, and it's by the time that she really took charge and stuff, so I think. And we need to, I need to give her opportunity to do that as well. Odysseus, we, we just need to continue basically the most important now is colours. We can't go to a fabric store and decide what fabric we need. We need to know what colour we're getting. Okay. What base colour? What? Give me two base colours that would have our t-shirt be. Green. Look at that. The only thing with green is Brazil. Look at that. Brazil's mostly white. white. Look at that. Most most white. Give me a dominant colour that they see the t-shirt in. Yellow, you're ready, but yellow. Because I can't think of anything yellow that stands out. In they my have mind. made uh, supporters tops in white, but we mix it. We mix it with, with other colors. But white, white can work as well. Especially the base color is gonna be white. Someone took time to make that logo. He put his heart into making that logo or whatever, you know. It's someone else's idea. Now we're taking it and we're just making yeah. it into, you know, that's like... But it's a different idea, making it a, lo- a t-shirt a logo. But... Guys, the first rule of a graphic design, you don't fuck 
around somebody's logo. We're just using it in a clever way. We're using a, yeah. a logo in a different way. They, they, they are right, it's not Come new. The number 10, no? yes. using a Mubazila yeah. is new. That hasn't yeah, been done okay. before. We have to bring something up about play design that's going to show the history of South African football. Now, I, I came up with an idea of using it for Fuzel. On an image, whatever image we decided to put on a shirt, we, we must show the Vuvuzela because the Vuvuzela has always been a symbol of South African football. We currently we're working with the Vuvuzela, um, a different way of doing it and stuff like that. It's not the co- concept that I wanted to run with because I thought the concept that I came with was would have worked better because it was a logo and the logo incorporated a design with it, but. It's not, I'm not alone in the team, it's not my task, so... He who's in favour of going shopping? Okay, Michelle, you in. I'll go. <laughs> it's not that hard trying to figure out what a man likes to wear and what a man doesn't like to wear, you know? They're pretty much simple beings when it comes to that. You don't need to bring along a man to figure that one out. Whichever way. Whichever way you find. Yeah, so, I don't... Cool. Cool. When I picked the team, Michelle came to me, she said, oh no, Lerato's not talking to me, and blah, 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 blah. Lerato and I don't seem to get on very well. I don't know why, I don't know what I've done wrong to her. Dynamics are very different between two people, you know? I mean, how, how I get on with one person doesn't mean how I, um, it's the same with the other person. And I did confront her um, when we were doing the interior task. I said, like, I'm getting the feeling that you're ignoring me, and if there's anything you need to tell me, rather just say it. And she just looked at me, she was like, well, you're insecure. That's why you think I'm ignoring you. You know, socially, I didn't come necessarily to, you know, to become friendly and nice with everybody. And I, I don't feel bad if, if, if a connection isn't made. I have no idea what that girl's problem is at all. No idea. I'd like to work on it, but I don't know what your problem is. So I said, you know, I understand, but please understand, I'm not going to deal with politics. I have no time for that. It's a very short time. It's a new thing for me. It's a new thing for them. If they're going to get hung up on politics from previous tasks, it's going to be to our own detriment because we probably will end up at Style Council and one of us will have to go. A dingy elevator, yeah. Well, how are you? Okay. Can you show us all the different swatches for? Okay. This is your moisture management, right? That's one. I think the reason why Garth picked me was obviously he had faith in my design abilities and that I'm a fashion designer, so I would know what works and what doesn't work. I prefer this color compared to that. This one, yeah. Okay, yeah, this, this, our, this is our main thing, it's our main color. Main color, and then, and then this is going to be our panels, and then this is going to be our panels. We're just going so to take a bath. So breathable materials all, all the yeah. way. Yeah, so we're using this and this and then this one, yeah. So we're going there to find out how long it's going to take, and then we have to give him the, the T-shirt. Yeah. Sorting. But now, we're just going to go confirm him with this with him, and then from there we sort him. We don't know what the concept is, yes, yes. Um, because just we haven't had the time. Get a variety so that when we do have actually have the final yeah. thing, that we don't, we are not short of anything. Thing, yes. You know, this is so that, you know, yeah. we cover our bases. That's the green. Yeah, so that's that moisture management. Yes. Yellow. We'd like a yellow and let's have a look at the two options yes. of yellow and of gold. Yeah. Yeah. Like the bright against I wonder if you want to use the same fabric for the t-shirt. If not, try it's another yeah. texture on and the t-shirt. That's what I was gonna get to next, that this is the base fabric. This yeah, remains the base the fabric. Base, but these elements should be different. You see, like the effect is much mm. more. <laughs> See on the white, it looks much nice. better. Yeah. And would we'll probably take like half a meter of each because we've got like a very good width to work with. And Jenga Manje, I mean, it's a miam species at Weber, set design. Basically, set design and Jenga Manje. I mean, you got to be humble about saying I just saw Stinger, Jenga into Angunje. So, this is the seventh, this is so yeah, sub is not design and Jenga Manje. This is a big, I guess, kind of socket. 
What a gentle. Cool. <laughs> that is where you get all the loud meat from, you see? Yeah, sure you go. <laughs> Let's do this, baby. Let's do this. This is Wagan. Hi. How's it? Cool. This is, this is the logos we're trying to get on printed on our phone. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll go Okay. Oh, you got them already? Okay, cool. Okay. Have it done? Yeah, yeah. let's have it done. And then bring it. If, okay. you, if you want it done on the panels, we'll do that. We got into Amo and I might just a magic jig. So that I would add to Lego Sensor, I like, embroidered for free. Then Masuala, Savages, and Willie Crupin. Show us a job of course you could use for them. Sure. I don't know how we were led to this place, but I thought this is where we're supposed to come to actually get our embroidery done. When the next thing, the other team rocks up there. We came here with our driver and we found the other team here and they weren't very, very pleased at the fact that we found their law embroidery place. We're the other team that's uh, part of this program and we just came to see you about embroidery. I don't know if they overheard us asking about the embroidery or if the guy told them that we're going to have the embroidery done. I guess there was a misunderstanding in that whole thing because I thought the embroidery place was for everyone, was access to everyone. I feel they kind of stole our idea because they didn't have the idea of, uh, of embroidering because they thought they were only allowed to print because tomorrow they're going to the printing place. We've later found out that it was Zenith's connection that hooked her up with this, with this, with this place. That would have been uh, our baby, but now it's shared. It shouldn't be shared. <laughs> Was. Yeah, we thought we have our yellow and your your your, your uh, green and whatever, all your colors top, and then you have your white shorts. If not your white shorts, you can have your green shorts with your white and your leather and blah blah blah. Okay, and then? That's for also like shorts. See, 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 then you know, a you know, you know, football match is nothing without the football which is, okay, is something that the South Africa is always, I mean, even if you're sleeping, you will, no matter what you you will just hear Vuvuzela, you know that it's a soccer match or someone is celebrating. I mean, I hear Vuvuzela, because Vuvuzela is the only thing that I can think of as, 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 as Indo traditional South African football. football like, it's been there ever since it's been there. We took, we took a picture of a person blowing that vuvuzela, using the idea where you said have have that thing coming around here. You could have that image there, like half of the t-shirt. If I had to have it my way, I wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have done it the way they wanted to. That was the idea that we came up with. He concentrated to it because we're going with the start of like showing like how proud you know, the, 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 the fans of South Africa are about you know, South African football. And yeah, we try to, to, we try to, even though it's an image, we try not to, 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 to not make it <coughs> too much on it because it's gonna look busy. And when I came back from buying fabric, the, the team that was left behind set and they started brainstorming, they started coming up with ideas. And what we did, we put everything up on the wall, we looked at it and said, which design grabs your eye and why do you think it grabs your eye? When we got to the design that had the, the, the stroke from the, on the T-shirt, Vusi explained to me that that to him symbolizes a burning fire, which could represent the burning passion that we as African people and African and South Africans have for soccer. And then we started thinking of colors and the colors that we wanted to incorporate were colors that were unique, were African. We found that green is a very dominant color in most African maps. And we incorporated the gold also, and it represents fire, the burning passion. And all of that, when we're starting to, starting to grow, you could feel that how the pride was being translated into our garment, the burning passion and the pride that we as African people have. First thing first, shirt is the most important okay, thing. Sure. Shorts, you can consider them after. Okay. We can cut them once we once we finish with the shirt. Okay. okay, because that's what's going to take more time. Okay, technically, I put it in the hands of Richard and Salim. So what what do you think about 
him not using uh, the, the pattern. I think it's like amazing. Like, oh, okay, I could get a freestyle dress that couldn't be for myself. Yeah. Freehand without yeah. making a pattern because I know if it's big, you just zips in on the side. As you can know? see from everything that you see but here, can, it's I all just... been cut off freehand. freehand. I can't believe that he can make yeah. a suit freehand. This is oh. all freehand. Everything I'm wearing here has been done in the studio. Can you want freehand? And I'm doing it for like six years. I do freehand. Freehand, like I can do like yeah, like skirts. Like <laughs> uh, yeah, skirts you can do freehand. The, the the studio which they'd given us to work the stuff is just not. They don't have like all the right machinery and the people that were supposed to be doing the work for us. I just I'm just I just don't really really trust them. I know they might be good, but like the way they work is just not how I think things should go or how things actually work. They cut directly onto fabric, which has led us to sort of like losing, lo wasting fabric. Don't you know, the best uh, mistakes are the greatest inventions. Oh, I <laughs> so. Yeah. You so you've been... know that, or aren't you a fashion designer? I don't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that means you don't have any works of art. Mm. Fashion is not art. Fashion is practical and wearable. Those who try to create fashion into, into art are those who never succeed commercially. Okay. So, uh, what should you know? It's not like it sound all fancy fancy when it's not so fancy fancy. <laughs>
then do you have drawstring, uh, yellow drawstring? Yeah. Okay, give me four meters. Well, we need only one for the one sleeve, so just take one and one big one. <laughs> We got to the place where the people are supposed to be doing our CMT for us and, and they, nothing they was done. Do Would it be possible for you to do it for us? Would you yeah. be able to do like a the shirt for us? Yes, and that's the not place. a problem. When do you need it by? We need it like by the end of today, possibly. Can you give me a minute? Can I just speak to my husband? Yes, about yes, yes. Okay. And then if you could like also give us an estimate uh, quote and all of that stuff. It would be great if we could actually get everything done in-house, one place, and we know yeah, we, we're fine. dealing yeah. with one yeah. person. But, we came here to get embroidery done. We thought we were only going to get our embroidery done on a small piece so we could go back and like sew somewhere else. But kindly enough, the people that own the studio, Riaz Embroideries, they've allowed us to sort of like set up a little space for us where we can do all our production in one place and they can do the embroidery for us and so we can actually have a garment by the end of the day. Place that we organized where we could go sew and they're going to help us do all our stuff. Yeah. Come, go, go, the other teams there. The other teams using all our contacts where we're supposed to go, where they're supposed to help us with our embroidery, they offered us to come and use their place to work. Yeah. The other teams there doing it there. So how did they know that we were gonna go there? Were they there when, they when that there. guy offered? They offered for, yeah. He offered us to help make our work, like some trousers and stuff. So if they're not done, if these people can't help us, we can go there. Space that we organize. We organize this whole embroidery. Uh, this guy to do the embroidery for us for free, and I know they found out about it. And all of a sudden, they're also having it done. Then he's doing it for them as well for free. And uh, he offered us his place to use and come and like uh, finish off our pants and shorts and stuff. And now they they're working at the studio that we were you know, that we were supposed to use later. It's like what we organize, they taking advantage of that. So I don't think, I don't know. I don't think that's right. Oh, okay, yeah. they say it's finished, so we're just getting it, like that last stitching thing's yeah. going on there. And then we need to get it printed. Because yeah. we tell the guy we'll be there in like in 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Just to arrange about the like for arrange for the embroidery and if they could do it on a piece of fabric for us so we could cut it out and sew it on the garment afterwards. And they offered to help us. Like the whole way through. We could do like all our production here, which was just great. It like alleviated a lot of stress from me and also from the team. Good designer. I'm creating a pattern for my t-shirt and what I'm doing, I'm just working from an existing uh, block. And then I'm just gonna restart. I'm gonna restart it to to look like our our design. And then Papua is working on the bottom half of the of the outfits. I just worry that some some of my team members might feel a little bit left out. And so I would just really appreciate if they understood that only so many people can actually cut a pattern at one time, and only one person can pretty much cut like a piece of fabric, especially when you're working at a time. Like it's such a, like a tight time frame. Guys, this is basically how. Line. This is where fashion starts in a studio like this, basically. With a factory floor, and a little design room, and a cutting room. Those are all the departments that you get when you in fashion. Isn't that looking like our t shirt already? All the markings of our t shirt. That's our armhole, that's our air text, that's our panel line that will go through there like that. That's where the piping is going to be. So it's just going to be perfect. It's going to be great. Tick, tick, tick. You see, this this part here was supposed to get in from here and yeah. into a line like this. Okay. Now this part has a C, like it's not supposed to have a C. Me and Molo uh, cut paper patterns and then we work from a paper pattern. Now these guys cut free hand and what they did was, the panel was supposed to be carried on like from one side right to the back, but now they cut it the opposite way and uh, so now that's what's delaying us because there's another two extra pieces that needs, needs to be added on which wasn't there in the first place. 
so that's that's what's delaying us a bit because our top would have been done if there wasn't that extra panel and extra pieces to cut out. Um, I'm kind of cheesed off. Um, reason being because our top could have been done. Our design could have been done, we could have been to the printers and back already. And they could have been busy with our shorts. And I think that is like it's stunting our production of how we're gonna get this thing done. You know what seam allowance is? Allowing a seam to be a seam. Like not 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 confining the seam to you know the pressures of the world. <laughs> Liberating the seam. <laughs> Okay. I wasn't feeling very confident when we were doing the conceptualizing just because it's very hard for like six people to get their say on like one kit and especially when you're not doing when you're doing when you don't do fashion because you'll be designing something and it'll be like no that's not possible you can't do that so that was very confusing so I've learned about that but I mean I think it's gonna pull through I mean they know more about clothing than I do so I'm sure it'll be fine very happy with where everything is and how it's standing. Apparently the other team is not very happy with us but I I battle to understand why. So um, yeah well we 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 going ahead um, we progressing so it's fine. Can we go, yes of course okay. yeah. You can use that table there. We have to cut out right around we'll here. We will, yeah. So could you do that and I could cut it out so long? No? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's good. You so guys have to it. She's handling it well so far, considering the pressure that she's under. I think she's, she's quite strong. We feel the pressure, but we're keeping it cool because if we are going to rush, we're going to start pointing fingers and irritating each other, agitating, agitating each other, and it's just gonna land up one big mess. And that is the front. Yeah, you guys just put it upside down. F you f But I showed you which is the front, and I Who showed you which there? is the back. Because it's printed wrong. You guys put it upside down, and I showed you which is the front. Because now we f What do you mean? This is the wrong. Okay. Um, we, we double checked it. I said someone must come double check it first. No, you took I it there, weren't you checking? No, I didn't. Uh, he called me to check if the numbers are aligned. So I asked Tina, is this the right way? I did ask, is this the right way? She said yes. No, that was here. You asked me if that's the right way. If she's the front end of the That was here. I didn't move anything there. Yeah, so what we're going to have to do is you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to cut this straight like this. And then where is it? It's going to be here and here. I think a lot of pressure is on her right now. And it's on me as well because I'm team leader and I need to get the stuff done. And yeah, it's just seriously cheesing me off. But it's changing actually the whole design, you know what I mean, of the t-shirt itself. It looks like now we didn't work around the design. So I don't want it to be, to say, oh yeah, you're a designer, but how couldn't you work around the design, you know, your panel's not coming from the right place. Um, in terms of our way of making mistakes, so I think on that level, okay, even though in a sound as you didn't know it, but much as was, as was for tail, as was is. They're gonna cost us, they're gonna uh, actually penalize us by one. Nice. Okay, nice. 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 You know, it was a mistake. Hey? We didn't know that that was the arrangement. And, like, that's why we don't understand why you guys are upset at us because it's, we didn't come here. We didn't just follow you. And it was not because we're trying to be mean or anything like that. I 
see Nelson Mandela wearing that. <laughs> I see Tom and Baby wearing that. So the 2010. This is our shirt for the support. Except we make a really small one for her. Because <laughs> she loves the soccer. <laughs> I'm quite proud, I have to say. It's, it's, it's very different. That's what I like. And simplified. Uh, we sorted. We just we sorted it out. I like, I like it a lot. This is just number 10, 2010, man. Off the hinges, no doubt. Yes. It's a job. Would you be proud if you were alive? Too much. I get so out of time. Good evening guys, welcome to yet another Style Council, where one of you will not make the cut. Odysseus, being a fashion designer, how did you find this task for you and your team? For me, and I guess for the rest of my team, it was very, very challenging. It's not every day that one gets to design something that can carry the image of a nation at a world event. So it was very, very challenging. And Garth, you are the youngest member of the team. Uh, how did you find leading uh, your team in this task? Um, I think my team made it easy on me because they never saw me as the youngest. They saw me as an equal and we worked together well. Michelle, I see you have an amazing fashion accessory on. What happened to your eye? It's just a little bit of accident. It's a small one. <laughs> okay, um, you hurt. Um, I'm sh it looks like it hurts. You have an opportunity to pull out if you feel like you can't carry on. Yeah, of course I can carry on. <laughs> Are you strong? Can yeah. you cope? <laughs> That's a good Just girl. Just an eye. <laughs> Deciding your fate this evening is the Style Council and we have three permanent members of the Style Council. We have Nathan Reddy, South Africa's most awarded graphic designer. Philippe Mazibuko, a creative strategist and stylist. Palesa Mokubong, who is a fashion designer and creative director in her own right. And every week we have a guest expert member on the Style Council and this week we have Steve Compella. He is the coach for the Under 23 national team. A reminder on this week's task, each team had to design the official Bafana Bafana supporter jersey for 2010. Now could I please get the models to come up on stage. So Odysseus, as team leader, could you please tell the Style Council the concept behind your jersey? We wanted our kit to express a very strong social message and we wanted it to be functional and we wanted to, we wanted to be a good design and fit also. We wanted, to, we wanted to express the pride and the passion that burns within African people. It being a first time, hence we used white to symbolize a new page in African history. We used the yellow and the green to symbolize the burning passion, which shows a fabric that's called moisture management, which lets the skin breathe. And we took into consideration also the time that the event will be held, which could be round about winter. The fabric allows you to stay warm, but also allows you to breathe. Under the arm, we used air techs. During the heat of the moment of excitement, people tend to sweat a lot. So we used that under the arm to allow for breathability. And the hood also is functional, but also very, very detachable to allow one the option to take it off or on. We figured that because hoods sometimes can tend to be very childish and we wanted our, our kit to be something that even a dignified person can be able to wear with a uh, choice of their bottoms. We stuck to black for our bottoms and we made our bottoms very functional to carry the vuvuzela to the event. That was the concept basically behind our, 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 our kit. Steve, <laughs> what did you think of Odysseus team's kit? One has to acknowledge first that it took time, effort. Now from Safa, the South African Football Association one there on the left, it's well put. That's where they put it. The 2010 one showed it took time and effort and it looks authentic. And for most of us who had been seeing it more on the screen, seeing it like that is quite impressive. 
I, I liked it for, for a couple of reasons. First, it's, you know, it's, it's really advanced but practical at the same time and uh, the thought process behind it is quite, is quite obvious. And um, the cut is, is, is tailored, which is nice, and you, you play it with textures and it's going to show off our men. I like that too. Um, for me, I was the first time I'm both impressed with both teams. And for me, it's going to be very sad to see anyone leave today. You outdid yourself. Both teams, absolutely great pieces of work. Uh, but what I did see come through in terms of the design this week is the conceptualization of the process where I saw a lot of thought-provoking thing going into it and the results speak for itself. Now I'd like to know about God's team. God, could you take us through your, your kit? We... There's a reason why we chose yellow. Yeah. Because yellow is our home color. When, when, when the Bafana Bafana is playing, they, they use the yellow kit. When they're playing away, they use the white kit. So the, you know what I mean? The, we want our supporters to feel the same with the players. Even if you look at the stands, you know immediately that they're supporting Bafana Bafana because they say, have the same color and the same kind of jersey. Yeah. We um, decided to, to um, show Ivo Vuzela because Ivo Vuzela is the only thing that is traditional, has been always there into South African football. Our material as well is also the yeah. pretty moisture pretty management. Moisture management material. And if I could ask Lucky, please to turn around. Um, a lot went into the number, number 10. It is a 2010 World Cup. And it's the number 10 is also a big thing on the field where the, the big name players really like Jomo Sono. Zinedine Zidane, Pelé, Mar Maradona, was all number 10. People who's going to wear this is like your average taxi driver, your to wherever, I mean anybody can wear it and it doesn't have to be worn in this way. You could just wear your jeans and whatever, you could actually put the sweat over this and you could still see the colours underneath. God, uh, much as we're young, your thoughts are big and that too should also go to the rest of the team. Whenever we play in South Africa, we use yellow. So I imagined myself sitting there in 2010, and then you just see yellow striking. Then you get that fever. It feels like there's starting to be an understanding between us and, and you guys <laughs> for the first time. And that Vuvuzela image is, is powerful. I mean, I can, you can almost you know, hear it, and you can see the passion in, 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 in his face. I like that. The imagery is bloody powerful. Uh, the iconography of that there could definitely stick in people's minds and overall well done. Style Council, I've never heard so many compliments from you. This is a first, but unfortunately there has to be a winning team. Steve, could you tell us who won tonight? This panel decided to award it the winning position to Congratulations, Odysseus and your team. You are excused from Style Council. You know, for me, your sample is what, um, you know, defines uh, the quality of work you, you can produce. And the, the thing here on the neck, it's like the neck doesn't fit. Both of us don't get free hand at all. And especially if it was just a t-shirt without panels, then it would have been fine. But to cut free hand with panels, you know, it made it a little more difficult. I think what she's saying is that we were given a certain place to go yeah. and we went there and no patterns and you were amazed. And there was no paper also, so we couldn't even say, okay, let's use this t-shirt that we have, make a block and then start with our pattern from there. I think we've come to understand what, why this design's actually been a bit flawed. And to me, it's got a lot to do with the fashion and the actual cut of that shirt. So I'd like to know from the team, who's responsible for cut and fashion? We're, we're both fashion designers. Yeah. The two designers, step forward, please. Zinat and Malibang. It's clear that uh, the fault with this whole task was in the design and your explanation of it is based on the freehand cutting and I'll tell you this, a couple of my best, best, best cuts I did freehand. Who between the two of you um, 
uh, can admit that they understood this concept. I don't cut freehand, and so you would I say you're at fault. You would say your lack of understanding. To me, I was impressed because I was amazed that he could do it as perfectly as all the other garments that I saw that he had done. So I didn't think it would lie in that. Only when it was finished, when it comes to when you fit it on, can you see that where the fault lies in terms of sewing and everything. One of the panel was cut wrong, and I mean we didn't know anything about freehand pattern cutting, but I took out, I took the panel out, and I fixed it up so it could work. You know, there was I tried a problem to there. You agreed to work with a technique that you don't know, both of you. So you need to tell me why we need to keep you here. Well, because I'm passionate about it, and I tried my best. I. You know, I worked around all the mistakes that that uh, the pattern makers made. The, the pattern story, I understand that it's no excuse. Um, since on the shorts it worked perfectly, it's, I guess it's the sh it's the shirt that didn't work. So um, around that, um, I would assume responsibility in terms of, I guess I should have taken it away and done the pattern. So, who will not make the cut tonight? Will it be Malibu Heng? Or will it be Zenith? Zenith, you did not make the cut. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. If it was my fault, I would have gone down. I would have like said, yeah, no, it's fine. The, the decision was right. But I don't think that they were fair. Neckline wasn't looking right to me. And I told Mola Bahing, it's not going to sit right. So she said, no, it's fine. It just looks like that. It just needs to be ironed. I should have stood up. I should have said, no, let's take out that, that whole uh, piece that we put in and let's attach a new piece. That was my fault. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have agreed. I should have start for my best and unpicked it and made, you know, added a whole new piece. Next on The Cut. We are gathered here today in a chapel, which is a very popular venue for a wedding. And that is your task this week. You need to design a wedding. South Africa's hottest young designer, the winner of the cut will win a one-year contract to work for leading lifestyle and fashion retailer, Woolworths. A preloaded Woolworths card with which to shop for the latest fashions and designer food. And to get around in style, the winner of the cut will receive a car for a year, courtesy of Woolworths.